this war, it's just about destroying Ukrainians. It's a genocide. The amount of people they have killed, they have brought 40,000 bags with themselves. And we thought at first that those bags were for their soldiers, but then we found out that they brought Bye portable, uh, portable crematoriums. And then we found out about Mariupol and Bucha and all the mass graves that they were doing. What was the intention of that? That is just a genocide. And I think it's very different for us Ukrainians and for people abroad, uh, like in US or in Europe, is what is different is that for people abroad, it's just this one event. For most of the people, Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th, and that's it. But for Ukrainians, it's a hundred years history. That's what Russians have always done with Ukraine. Like the famine that they created in 1933 with tens of millions of Ukrainians being starved to death, they took all the food away. And for us, when the war started, all of those stories we heard from our grandmothers, from our great grandmothers, from our parents, all those stories came to life. It was like all the stories that they told us when we were younger about the times, the hard times that they survived through. It's like they came to light and we saw them as in a movie and it's history repeating itself. And they need Ukraine because they want to steal our history. They want to steal the history of Kiev Russ, of how we were founded because they have this imperialist um, desire that they are trying to fulfill for centuries. And that's why they try to kill us. So we don't exist and they do. So it's, it's obvious to us, to us here. And, um, and this is the feeling um, that I felt very strongly uh, when they invaded us in February. I felt that on my skin, that they are here to kill me specifically because I am Ukrainian. I speak Ukrainian, and if they would come to Lviv, me and Roman would be their target number one, because we studied in US, we are smart and intelligent and we love our country, and we are ready to stay here no matter what. So the people who have already died from, who were raped, who were murdered, who were tortured, they're the same people that I am the same people that Roman is, they are no different. They are just Ukrainians and they just don't want us to exist. So that's their intention. And uh, they, are, they are shelling the nuclear plants for the same reason. That's their way to manipulate, to manipulate West, to scare, to have some, some sort of control because they do not really have much control in the fields with our soldiers. So they attack us from air where we have little control. You know, that after what happened, you, you understand that there's nothing that they cannot do because they already done everything. Uh, and Juliana mentioned very well the world, the word genocide. It is a genocide. A lot of the European countries have already concluded that it's a genocide. So it's it's not that we are just thinking of that. It is a genocide. They are intentionally destroying Ukraine and killing Ukrainians to erase the whole Ukraine from the map and, and let it be forgotten. That's yeah. that's the goal. Yeah. They have already killed tens of thousands of people. If and they, if they know, know you support Ukraine, that's it. Yeah. You are a goner. Uh, if we are talking about Eastern Ukraine occupied regions, all the people go through filtration camps. There are literally filtration camps where they will strip you down. They will look for tattoos. They'll ask whether you support Ukraine. They'll ask whether you have any relatives in the army. They, they'll ask everything. And if there are wrong answers, that's it. You'll go into their jail and probably be tortured there. That's, that's the reality.